it's Sandy Parker and welcome to crafting for almost everyone so we're going to be making one of our fun fold cards today and it's going to be floral themed and a little bit of a get well uh, type card and it's going to be a stair step card I saw this on stamp TV and I thought man this looks fun so that's what we're going to be doing so we're going to take a piece of cardstock and this is recollections 110 pound white and uh, you're going to cut it to five inches by ten and a half so it's ten and a half inches long by five inches tall and then we're going to score it now the scores hopefully i'm in frame the scores are going to be at one and a quarter inch right there then our next one is going to be at two and a half inches two and a half making sure i'm in the right place then four and a quarter and then six inches Ooh, moving it okay and then the last one is eight and a quarter Now, when I watched them do the do the card on Stamp TV, they showed um, the easiest ways to do things, and I thought that was really smart. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our stair steps. We're just going to fold everything up like that, and then we're going to take our bone folder. Oh, I had it right at hand. Hard to believe. And I'm going to burnish each of my folds so they're nice and flat because you want this card to be able to go into an envelope and it should fit into a regular um, A2 size card envelope. So that envelope would look like this. Now the reason I'm bringing that envelope out is because when we're done with this card, we want it to fit in this envelope. And uh, so we want, right now it looks really small and you're thinking, well, of course it's going to fit in that envelope, but it might not if you put your your, your embellishments in there, like in too, too far right, too far left, too tall, etc. So I'm going to be using some punches. I'm going to use this punch and maybe this punch and maybe this punch these are all old retired punches you can do whatever you want like uh, if you have dies it will work or if you have punches use whatever you have but um, I'm using these because I thought they would be easier to use because I have them right on hand and I know where to look for them I'm going to use a Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink because it works with Copics and I might be using some Copics on this and I want to put a sentiment on the bottom. Um, for those of you who are right handed you probably are wondering why it is I put my things in this way while I'm left handed so that's kind of my gig and I'm going to do my sentiment. I don't like to do sentiments only once if you didn't know that about me. I like to do them several times because then they they look a lot uh, more professionally done, and I like the I like the bold. I got a dog here and there. What else is new? One more time for good measure, and then we're done. Ooh. Beautiful. But I do know where these little flowers came from. They came from a set called Petite Petals. And I'm going to do them, I think. I'm just going to stamp on my um, cardstock. I think what I'm going to do, I have several of these little flower stamps. And I thought it would be fun to stamp them in a bunch of colors and see which ones I like and which designs I like just going to go with a variety of colors. I'm going to get my black ink out of the way because you know I'm going to end up with my arm in that. I don't know how you do this, but I thought I would show you my, my system of how I pick my colors. If it's boring to you, you can fast forward through it. 
but this is how I do it just to see what colors I want to try. I think I'm going to go with those. So these are the five colors I've got. I've got Cranberry Crisp, Rose Red, Purely Pomegranate, Pretty in Pink, and Sweet Sugar Plum. And I don't know, I don't know if all of these are still available, but again, it's, you know, the colors I'm using, not, you know, it doesn't, it should be your colors versus mine. I, you know, you're, you're picking out your own colors and making it a fun project for you. This is from the Mixed Bunch set. I have to get a bigger block. This is, as I said, the Mixed Bunch set. I thought this one looked really pretty. I hope it does come out. I'm going to have to get more paper, obviously. Ooh, that one is pretty, isn't it? So I stamped um, a whole page because the battery went dead, what else is new? I stamped the whole page. Some of these I'll use, some of them I won't. Same with this, some I'll use, some I won't. And then I also have this um, little flower dot or flower stamp and punch, and I thought I would use it as well. And I plan on coloring some of these with my um, alcohol markers. So that, I think, is all I need in these. Now, as far as leaves go, I have a leaf punch and I have another leaf punch. So I think I might just um, punch out leaves. And I have this green and I have a darker green. So let's punch a few of these and then we'll... This is a Martha Stewart punch. If you're looking for punches, I don't recommend the Martha Stewart punches, but I've had good success with this particular one by using my forearm on it. Alright, let me get my other punch. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I think what I'm going to do is use the punches, sorry, the stamps and punches from Friends and Flowers. And I'm just going to stamp some darker green on this. And then I have another um, stamp that's like a double st double stamp, but it's small. And then I have a smaller single stamp. So first thing we're first is we're gonna make sure that we get this really well inked. It's been so long since I've stamped without um, the Misty or a Stamp Perfect that it's almost rare for me to do it. I I'm like lost making sure that this is the right way and I think either way it works get that out of the way let's see if I can punch those out before we go any further okay so what you want to do is you're going to put your paper in and line it up so that you can see your um, your leaf really well and I must maybe I have this in backwards I'm just going to trim it so that it looks a little bit better mine's looking a little bit weird okay here's our first leaf that I've managed to finally stamp right I'm going to try this completely inked one see if we can get a good image I'm trying to transfer the ink. It's it's um, completely filled in with ink, so I just want to make sure I did a good job of stamping that. It looks pretty good. And then this time, let's see if I can do it right. I think this is the way it goes versus what I had it before. I still don't really like how much uh, border they put on this, so I'm going to trim out the border 
Okay, let's stamp a few more on here. I think you've gotten the gist of um, how to punch things out, so what I think I'm going to do then is turn the camera off and punch out the rest of these so that we have a bunch of these ready to go, and then that way we can just start um, gluing things down. Okay, so I wanted to tell you the names of the stamp sets I use. I use Mixed Bunch, Three For You. The Three For You were the little teeny tiny, these little teeny tiny um, flowers. And then uh, the Sentiment came from a set called Two Kind. I think that's all the sets I use other than the one I showed you this friends and florals or friends and friends and flowers this one that I got the leaves out of I think that's all of them um, oh wait there's this one too let me tell you that one and that one's petite pears I think I already told you that name so that's all of them so then what I did is I punched all of them out in the different colors and I'm trying to set them into piles of the different flowers so you can see them. Hold on. Move some of these out of the way. And then what I did is I took the markers and I took uh, this is 42 and I just colored um, the centers of these green leaves. Since these aren't, aren't um, stamped, I wanted them to still look like everything else. So if I colored them with my alcohol markers and leave just the edges um, bare so you can see the lighter green it looks like it's a, it's a stamped like the rest so I did that with the darker green and the lighter green you'll be able to see it better on the lighter green and I just kind of made them look like leaves but still left some room at the edge and then straight down the center like that so that's what I did to all the all of these um, little leaves and then with the with the little flowers I colored them I'm not crazy about the little flowers I might not even use them they're just they're just too weird I think and then these ones I colored. I'm, I'm not sure I love the colors on them either, but I'm sticking with it, I think. And then the bigger ones, what I did with this version, and this one I'm really happy with, what I did with these is I colored them, and I thought what I would do is just color one while I have, while the screen, you know, while we're doing this, so that you can see how I, how I made it look more um more like it's uh, a finished flower i wanted to make sure that that the leaves i just kind of i i didn't want the leaves to look like i'd worked or any of this to look like i'd worked at it too hard so i'm just kind of just plopping in color yeah, that's a word I'm using, plopping. So basically what I'm doing is just coloring the whole the whole image in, but quickly so that it's not uh, really painstaking. So that's what I did <coughs> on each of these. So I have three of those and I think we're going to roll with that and see if we can put one card together. If we can't, then I think what we'll do, well, I mean if I if I have enough for one, that'd be great, but if I have enough for two, that'd be even better. So I'm shooting to have two of these if I can. Now, 
when they did it on Stamp TV, they made sure that everything fit in the envelope. So what you do is you keep your, your envelope that would fit an A2 size card, which is a five and a half by four and a quarter inch card, and you put it kind of as you're doing this, you want to make sure that your images don't go outside of, you know, too far to the right, too far to the left, or too too tall. So that's what our plan is. And we're going to start with the bottom layer. And I'm going to see if I can zoom in so that you can really see this up close. So our first plan of attack is we're going to snip our little... Um, our little foam pieces. We're going to snip those off into smaller pieces so that we can really do this a lot more effectively. I think if we have smaller pieces it will be easier to use. You're going to want to put your foam dot on the bottom half and again we want to make sure put that right there. We want to make sure that it'll still fit in the envelope. So I'm good on the right side right now. I'm not going to be able to go crazy on the left side, but I think for the right side we're okay. I'm going to put another piece of the foam tape underneath this little fella so that hopefully we have a little bit more sticky. Keep that in place. Put a leaf down there and maybe I'll put it a little lower. Put some on the back of the flower for the leaf and then some on the, on the back of the leaf. So we're going to put this right there and then I'm going to stick this to it. You have to remember that you can't have things like this piece of foam tape that isn't attached to anything. I need to take off or really make sure that it sticks on to that and then I'll put one of the other flowers partially on that. So at this point I've got two flowers stuck down. I forgot to turn the camera back on. I took that leaf back off because I just didn't think I could make it work the where it was. And then I think I'm going to add one of these little ones off to the side or maybe down maybe I'll put it right there keeping in mind we still need to make sure that this fits in our envelope so when I do the the left hand side I have to make sure that it'll still fit so I'm gonna put that one right here and again you're you're only shooting for the bottom half of the of your of your folded parts. You want to make sure that you only put um, put your tape or your foam tape only on that spot so you don't have put that one like that. I'm just gonna cut if you have a leaf that's too long, there's no there's no big deal. You just hack off part of it so that it works for you. You know, if it if it doesn't work, make it shorter. That one's still too long. Woo! Now I've got glue running amok. thing to an envelope you have to make sure that you really get your edges glued down because the Postal Service is not going to love you if you've got something that's coming up you know it's flipping up on your card 
envelope, not guard. So you want to make sure that if you do this, you put um, an encyclopedia or some kind of book on it that's really heavy because you want to make sure it doesn't move and that it stays on here really well. And I'm just going to glue that one in the bottom corner and the front. And I'm going to glue a little bit of a leaf under it. Since I got part of it not stuck down. Of course the part that is stuck down is the part that Just a reminder that October 28th is Make a Difference Day, and that's the day where we're going to put our video live uh, that people that have been affected by the hurricanes and floods will um, be able to put their requests for crafty goodies on there, and then viewers will be able to help in any way that they can. And I will be helping as will uh, Rebecca from Rubber Stamp Tapestry. And hopefully we'll be able to help a lot of people get some of their crafty tools back. If you're thinking of using the KonMari method and getting rid of some of your crafty things, you might want to wait until after October 28th because maybe your crafty extra is the crafty tool that someone else needs. So I hope that you'll join me in helping people get their crafty tools back and that you'll participate with me. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And please tell one friend about me on social media. And if you haven't checked up out the destashing videos that I have, I'd really appreciate it because 100% of that goes to charity. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.